Hey guys, welcome to Anomaly Adventures. Elephant in the room. Yes, my hair is purple. What do you think? I used um, something called Splat that I got at Walmart. It was about eight or nine dollars and it was a total and complete mess. It was everywhere. It was on my hands, it was on my face, it was on my neck, it was on my ears, but I think it's worth it. I really love it. So it's, um, it's semi-permanent. It's meant to come out after 30 washes. I've washed it twice or three times. I can't remember, but it's really taken hold of the gray. I love it. So anyway, I hope you like my new look and on to business. So um, I'm alone today. Todd is with his family and B is at her learning pod. So I got kind of bored. And I thought, why don't I show you guys my theme park ear collection? Because we all have a collection of theme park ears, right? Um, maybe we don't, but over the years we've accumulated some ears that we bought at the parks. And then later we started buying on Etsy. And then even later than that, I started making some, just trying my hand at it. So I want to show you guys my ear collection. Let's see. So let's, what I'll do is start with all of the ears that we bought at Disney. Uh, I think this was our first pair that we actually bought at the parks. <gasps> My iridescent ears, look how beautiful. We saw somebody in line wearing these and we searched until we found them because I think Beatrix was eight at the time and she was all about the iridescence. So we had to get these and she wore these nonstop and now she won't ever put them on. But I just think they're the cutest. The bow is a little big for my taste, but I love the sparkle. They look like ice. So iridescent. The next one now. This should tell you something about what my favorite ride is. My Haunted Mansion ears. I love these ears. So these ears are actually styled after the ballerina in the stretching room, which you may or may not know is the um, kind of pre-show to Haunted Mansion. There are stretching portraits. And one of them is a ballerina with this print on her skirt. And I think she's got some pink in her tutu. And then on the side is the umbrella because she's holding a little parasol. So these are probably my favorite Disney ears that I've bought from the parks. My Haunted Mansion ears. And I love how the red velvet, which reminds me kind of of the, just of the mansion itself. These are the last ears that I bought at the parks. I got these uh 2019 so last year and these are arendelle aqua my arendelle aqua ears i love this color so much i don't go in for every fad that disney puts out but i had my eye on these for a long time and for a long time they didn't even have them they were sold out they had the backpacks they had the spirit jersey for Arendelle Aqua, but they did not have the ears. So we were leaving Animal Kingdom and it was actually in the little kiosk or the little store, like right before you hit the bus stop. And I saw them, it was kind of an impulse purchase, but I had wanted them for a while. So I just love that color. I like the bow. It's not too big like the other one. And I like how sparkly they are. So these guys are my Disney bought ears. All right, now we're going to go to Etsy land. And as you all may or may not know, Etsy sells a lot of Disney merch. Um, unlicensed, of course, but that doesn't mean that it's not awesome. So we, I searched around uh, before our trip, probably started buying Etsy ears maybe four years ago. And just, I haven't bought a ton but there are a couple of uh, vendors on Etsy that I just think are so great. So here's the first pair I bought. And these are just classic 
You can't get more classic than this. Mickey and Minnie, kind of old school with the pie eyes, and then red and white polka dot bow and a black headband. And this is from a vendor on Etsy called Kitty So Crafty. She does an amazing job, guys. I mean, look how smooth the ears are and how this headband is really, I mean, I know she didn't make the headband, but it's covered in this really cool material. And I've worn these several times with no signs of them falling apart. So the, these actually were bees. When I got my Mickey Mouse, she, I asked her what kind she wanted, and she wanted BB-8 ears. So this is what she got. This is a flannel. It says Star Wars. And then I love the color of this bow. And this bow is so soft. This is not Kitty So Crafty, but I cannot remember who the vendor is, unfortunately. Actually, one of these ears fell off at one point, but we re-glued it, so it was no problem. And then it's just satin on the back. I like how she backed the front with just something kind of neutral, so I really like those. And then the last ears I got on Etsy are these. I got these for Disneyland, actually, because I had uh, a blue dress and I was going to Disney bound as the aliens from Toy Story. So this is just, this is, again is Kitty So Crafty. I love her stuff, really sturdy. The ears have never faltered once. Um, they're nice and padded. I love this tool, green tool bow. I think really adds a lot to the, the color scheme, how it matches their little skin. And there you go, my Etsy ears. Now, I uh, will be honest with you, I do sew, but I'm not great at it. So to make ears like these would be, it's kind of difficult for me. And I've actually tried and I've not done too well, but I have found another way to make ears. So these are my handmade ears and I'll show you the first ones I made for our cruise in 2000 and 17 and they're flower ears with uh, floral wire ears. So what I do is just get um, you know silk flowers at Michael's or Joann's and then I hot glue them to a satin headband and I wrap the uh, the floral wire around and make ears. I actually my husband has a big jar of Noxzema, which is the perfect circle for these ears. And then you can do them in different colors. These are black. And so these are the colors of the Disney Cruise Line, yellow, white, and blue, and red. And then I did a cute little anchor bow. Aren't those the sweetest? I have a picture of me. I'll put it in right here where I wore these when I met um, Captain Mickey at the uh, port. It was really, really fun. My next ears that I made are also floral, and I'll see if you can maybe guess. And I will say, these ears have traveled a lot, so they are a little smushed. You can, and that's the only thing about these ears, is the floral wire, it has to be flexible enough to bend, but then that means it also can get smushed pretty easy. But honestly, it's really, you can probably can barely tell that they've been smushed and re, reformed several times. But these are, here's an arrow in the bow, and there's kind of a Celtic green ribbon. These are my Merida ears. So I kind of took inspiration from her hair and her, um, her clothing and just the color scheme of the, the film. And these are, I wear these mainly to Magic Kingdom. I still have not actually seen Merida when I've worn them because either I'm not wearing them and I see her or I'm wearing them and I don't see her, but it's okay. So there are my Merida ears and here's what these ears look on. Like, come on. So it's just a different, it's kind of a different look. I like it. And then last but not least, I made these also. These are my cocoa ears. 
And so there are chrysanthemums, just like uh, the chrysanthemum petals in the movie. And I kind of used the color palette, the oranges, reds, and yellows. And then I did a blue bow because there's blue somewhere in cocoa. And um, I really like, this is just like a scalloped grow grain ribbon. And here they are. What do you think? So the last one I want to show you is my attempt at sewn ears. Um, I don't think it's the ears that's the problem for me. It's just kind of fixing them on the headband and making, kind of zhuzhing them. I need help with the zhuzhing. So these are Incredibles ears that I made. And if you see the, um, it's got the a print with all the family members of the Incredibles. And then I did a ribbon bow of the same colors. And I, I do really like these, but they're not. You know, they're just not professional. It's okay. They're filled with tender, loving care, and that's all that's important. So, so which one was your favorite pair? I have a really hard time deciding which pairs to bring on our Disney vacations because you just never know what kind of mood you're going to be in, right? I mean, it's like wearing perfume. What are you going to feel like wearing that day? Or do you just not wear any at all? So let me know what you think in the comments. Which is your favorite and which is your least favorite? I would love to hear from you guys. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon on the channel and that makes sure that you catch all of our wonderful adventures. Even if it's just me in my dining room, it's still an adventure to me because I put makeup on for it, so obviously it's an adventure. Um, and then give this video a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. Every thumbs up I take into my heart and I carry it with me. So stay adventurous, guys. And until next time, bye.